Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, and we're going to do a beer review. This one is by New Belgium, and it's called Fat Tire. And uh, this is the <clears throat> Amber Ale. It's got an enjoy by date of November 10th, 2019. And today is 9-2019, so it's got a couple months to go before the enjoy by date. This comes in at 5.2% ABV, alcohol by volume, and this is what the bottle looks like. Okay, there's the cap. I got this in a six pack <clears throat> for like eight bucks out the door at Total Wine and More. I've had this beer before, but it's been a long time, so I can't really recall um what it was like so that's what we're gonna do right now so let's get it in the glass see what we got here i do like new belgium um especially their voodoo series ipa and stuff they love the malt that they use it's really tasty all right so got a real creamy looking head frothy creamy we have a crystal clear, um, hang on a second here, crystal clear amber color, definitely is an amber ale, got some bubbles streaming up from the bottom, last train home, you see the clarity of it, very clear. An aroma on this puppy. Okay, right up front, I'm getting um, kind of like some uh, kind of like uh, some graininess, very slight citrusiness, but not really like citrusiness. Um, Kind of a little yeastiness. Um, yeah, some kind of like slight malt sweetness. And almost like a tobacco note. Interesting. Get a hit. Cheers. Yeah, it's, uh, taste follows the aroma well. It's got excellent head retention. Let's uh, swill it and get another hit, see if we can pick up something else here. Cheers. Yeah, it's a really simple beer. Um, it's not like a high IPA or nothing. It's got some kind of malt sweetness and a little earthy hops. That's about all I'm getting. A little very slight kind of caramel sweetness. Or actually more like a kind of a bready, very slight malt kind of note. It's a little thin. Little, little watery, very easy drinking. It is leaving some really nice lacing on the glass there, though. The tobacco note that I was pick, picking up in the uh, aroma is not, not prevalent in the sip. Yeah, it's just very slight, kind of bready, slightly caramel malt note, and um, very, very slight, kind of earthy hop note. That's about what I get. 
It's um, might be a little bit on the older side if you know they, they if they're giving it like a six month or a, even a four month shelf life. It's and it's got two months left. It's probably a little older than I would like to get it, so I may re-review this uh, sometime down the road if I design if I can find one that's fresher. But I got a feeling this is past my two month, um, you know, enjoy by time that I like to give my beer my beers. So um, I got a feeling this is a little old because I, I remember it being a little tastier than this. This is pretty watery and kind of bland, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little bland. I've had lagers with more flavor than this, so I'm not really impressed. It's very watery. Um, uninspiring. Uh, with two months left by their enjoy by date. Uh, I, if this, if I didn't know any better, I would never buy this again. But I know better, and I think it's kind of messed up that they give them such a long shelf life because what if you know an unsuspecting uh, beer, you know, consumer buys this beer not knowing anything about beer. Uh, buys it and doesn't know to check a date or anything and just buys it and drinks it and it's like ah it's not that good well they're not going to buy it again ribbit because i if, you know i bought it it does have an enjoy by date on there i bought it assuming that it probably is a four month shelf life so it's like right on the two month but I, I, I think that they've given this a six month self, shelf life. So this is probably four months old. That's my guess. And that's why it kind of tastes like crap. But I'm going to rate it for now as it is right now. That's a very uninspiring beer. Nah, that's not that great right now. I think it's old. Um, as it sits right now. I'll give this 2.5. It's, it's not happening. Um, 2.5 looks great. It's holding excellent head retention. It just doesn't have any flavor. Two and a half stars where I'm giving it right now. You can see the description of it in the description section at the bottom of the video there. That's it. I'm going to wrap it up on this. All right. We'll catch you later. See ya.